Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verses 6 to 8 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. Listen to me, me being wisdom, if you look at the earlier verses leading up to this, for I have important things to tell you. Everything I say is right, for I speak the truth, and I detest every kind of deception. My advice is wholesome. There is nothing devious or crooked in it. Family, in this portion of scripture, wisdom is speaking to us through Solomon. Solomon being the wisest man that is said to ever have lived, the most blessed man, the most blessed king that has ever lived, family. And this is wisdom speaking to us through him. And it's saying there, listen to me with an exclamation mark, meaning it's important. We must listen to wisdom and saying that wisdom has important things to tell us. And that is so true, family. The wisdom that's being spoken about here is not earthly wisdom, but obviously godly wisdom, the kind of godly wisdom that where the Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, true godly wisdom. That is the kind of wisdom that's speaking here. Godly wisdom has important things to tell us, family. We must listen to it. We must incline our ear towards godly wisdom because everything that godly wisdom says is right and true. It helps us to live righteous lives, to walk down the path that God has for us, to walk in the plans that he has for us, to walk in the abundant life that he has for us. If we just choose to incline our ears and listen to godly wisdom, we will walk in all of these things, family. It says, therefore, I speak the truth and detest every kind of deception. We know that the Bible says, or Jesus says in the Bible, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And therefore, it is saying, that the Bible is saying here that I speak the truth. In other words, Wisdom speaks the truth of the word of God because Jesus Christ is the word of God in human form. The Bible says in John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And later down in verse 14, it says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Therefore, Jesus Christ is the, the word of God, the written word of God. So when it says, I speak the truth, it's saying, I speak the truth of the word of God as Jesus is also the truth of the word of God in human form, family. So it is important that we incline our ears towards this godly wisdom because it speaks the truth of the word of God and it detests every kind of deception. You see, that's where the difference comes in between earthly wisdom and godly wisdom. Earthly wisdom often has forms of deception, small little twists and white lies here and there. You know, earthly wisdom can often even be godly wisdom with a slight twist in it or a slight form of deception in it and therefore it loses its true value its truth from the word of god and it becomes a form of deception a lie a, a thing of this world and not a thing of god family but the truth from the word of god isn't like that the truth from the word of god is the truth family and it says there my advice is wholesome there is nothing devious or crooked in it Go, once again going in line with what i've just said there's nothing devious or crooked in it this advice is wholesome there's no crooked truths in it there's no deception in it there's no lies in it it's pure and truthful family this godly wisdom that we can receive from the word of god and from our good and godly friends around us and as we receive this wisdom as we receive this truth it will work within us and enable us to walk in the plans and purpose that God has for our lives it'll equip us empower us motivate and encourage us to be everything that God has created us to be without the wisdom of God family we cannot accomplish in this life what God wants us to but with it with God's wisdom with his guidance with his instruction with his holy spirit within us leading us guiding us instructing us equipping us and empowering us we can go out there there to be everything that God has created us to be and do everything that God has created us to do. We can walk in the perfect plans, will, and purpose that God has for our lives. And as I've said so many times in the series, there's no better place to be than in the perfect will of God family. Everything that we need in this life, everything that we truly need, not what we think we need, but what God knows we actually need and will need because he knows the beginning from the end. He knows everything that we need even before we need it. Everything that we need in this life is found in the perfect will of God family. So I want to encourage you to seek good godly wisdom. Seek God's wisdom from his word. Every time you read your word, when you go and read your word later today, or if you've done it already, maybe you can do it tomorrow, is to just pray a prayer that is that you will ask the Lord 
to impart the wisdom from his word into you. See, family, the Bible is so much more than the words that we see written on the pages. There are so many truths, hidden truths and revelation knowledge contained within the scriptures. And if we ask God to reveal these to us and make it real to us and allow these truths to operate in our lives and through our lives, it will help to grow us in a, as a Christian. So I want to encourage you whenever you read your word to pray for the Lord to speak to you through his word, to impart his wisdom to you, to impart his knowledge to you. And and to impart the revelation knowledge of his word into you so that you can live the abundant life that he has for you. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your good and godly wisdom, the truth of your word, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for each and every one of us listening, myself included, Lord, that when we go and read your word and spend time in your word, Lord, that you will speak to us through your word, that you will teach us, train us, and equip us through your word, Lord, that you will impart your revelation, knowledge, and wisdom into our lives, Lord, so that it can operate in us and through us, Lord. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for every bit of wisdom that you impart to us and everything that you're going to do and accomplish in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.